Good morning, guys. Um, Emily here. I have no idea what time it is because I don't have my Fitbit on because it's on the charger. Um, but I do have coffee. <laughs> and um, I wanted to talk about something that I got a comment yesterday. Well, I read it this morning, but I got it last night. And this person said that I was a warrior and that nobody knows, like, um, nobody knows, like, what Hope and I will become. And I have to agree with that because, I, like I said yesterday, again, I'm not going to force a dog to work that doesn't want to work but if you meet hope in person she's very eager to please she wants you to pet her like when she's off duty like she wants you to pet her she wants you to do these things but when I put her vest on and we're training she knows no touch no talk no eye contact she knows because she gets very serious when we put her vest on. And she lays down and she just naps. I swear to God, ask my mom. And it just... It can be... Like, I put myself out on the internet. I get it. Like, and... I, I'm open to receiving hate. I'm open to receiving comments I'm open to I don't delete people's comments I may respond to them in a way that may be like picking a fight almost but I don't I don't delete them because I want to be transparent and I want to say hey this is what Sally Joe said to me but then this is what my channel and my brand and my self said back to Sally Joe, you know what I mean? And um I, I love um podcasts and I listen to two of them religiously. Um I've listened to From AM to PM by Priscilla and Asa Moss and I listened to A Girl and Her Mother in Law um, by Alyssa Rose and Jerry Eastman. Um, they're both on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, whatever. I listen to my Apple Podcasts. But, I, um, this week in the one, well, the one that I'm listening to right now for Priscilla and Asa, they're talking about the instance where somebody called Child Protective Services on Abby because they felt that she was malnourished and all this other stuff. Now, they went in in a video and totally debunked everything. I love that word, debunked. Um, they went in and they totally just debunked everything that um, the person was stating, and the person who stated everything is completely false, and it was completely false, and, like, they are putting their lives out on the internet, like, I get it, like, they're putting their lives out on the internet, they're putting their daughter on the internet, they're putting their son, they're putting their dog, they're putting marital issues, they're putting weight loss surgery, they're putting everything on the internet. But my heart broke for them because they're only putting themselves out on the internet to advocate for things such as autism. And I'll tell you, I knew a little bit, I knew like the teensiest bit about autism and meltdowns and tantrums and, you know, whatever. I have sensory processing disorder, too, so I kind of related to them on that point. But, like, I knew only a little bit about these things. And then they've taught me so much. And for someone to 
just make false accusations against them is ridiculous. And like for someone to assume something about anyone, like whether it's true or not, Which, in this case, it wasn't, and then, which, in my case with the situation, it wasn't either. is ridiculous. You don't know what goes on behind closed doors with someone, so don't assume, like, by that you only see 15 minutes of them on a video per day. So, don't assume. And, you know, you can sit there and you can say, oh, da-da-da-da-da, but until you've walked a day in someone's shoes, you don't know what, you don't know what somebody goes through. (laughs) And, um, for... For the longest time, I, uh, it's kind of died down a little bit because I've had other issues going on, but for the longest time, I wanted to... Um, see if I could, like, bring in to my high school where everyone got to sit, well, everyone in my class, like, my senior class or whatever, so, like, a 100 kids or whatever, 300 kids, where everyone got to sit in a wheelchair for a day, at least a day, and they got to see like what I go through because I often tell my able body peers who don't understand how important an accessible bathroom is or like the issue that I had with my peer that the buttons were broken on the college campus um that like you know, you don't know how important something is. It may be small to you, but, like, to me, the buttons are important to live an independent life. And, you know... To you, you may be able to fit in the bathroom stall, but me, I need a bigger space. So, until you walk a day in someone's shoes, don't ever assume that you know things about them. My grandpa, because we didn't get to go, um... On the day he actually died. So we're going today. Love you, Gramps. Hi, guys. It's, uh, 5... Th- <coughs> 5.30. And I'm outside. Because I have a little bit more to say for my vlog today. Um, it's been a very weird week. Um... So, but she's been walking on a leash since since she's been eight weeks old. So, that's a lie. And she walks perfectly when my mom walks her. Now, key word is my mom. When you add any chair, whether it be manual or power, it's going to take some time. Now, she will go on the side of my chair perfectly. But when I start to click it and start to move it, she gets a little spooked because she 
just thinks that we're going to go run outside and play like we normally do. Run around and get energy out like we normally do. She doesn't associate this chair with walking. And that is fine because that is something we need to work on. Not every dog is perfect. She is not horrible though. So, because of my bad week, and this might be even worse behaviors, but because of it, I decided to spend some money on a wheelchair leash from this company. Um, and I'll do an unboxing and a review when I get it, if it's if it was, was worth the money, if I'd like it, you know, whatever. Um, but I, you know, I got a specifically wheelchair leash because there was the hands-free option, but then I didn't know what length to order because I didn't want it getting caught up in the wheel and I didn't want it getting caught up on the ground. Um, so I messaged the, with the person and we decided that the wheelchair um, option was the best for me. Well, I decided that the wheelchair option was the best for me and I got the longest size you could. And it's about your average length of the leash anyway. So let's hope that I like it and let's hope that it's good because it was a good bit of money. But if it's not, then I can, then I'm always going to go and voice my um, concerns and then I'll see if the person can either redo it or whatever. So anyway, that was that. I bought that this morning um, when I was in the shower, when I was getting out of the shower actually because that's when they messaged me back. And um, yeah, so I did that um, because, okay, it kind of rocked me to my core a little bit. So I was like, okay, I'm going to work on healing her with this chair, power chair, in the front yard with a leash, just strap the leash on, and then we'll see how it goes. Because when I went to the program, um, I'm not going to say which program because I don't want to be affiliated with them um when i went to the program and i was gonna be evaluated for whether i could benefit for a service dog and it was deemed that i could benefit for a service dog um i had the dog in my hand i had the leash in my hand and the lady was like okay i'm gonna start pushing you because that time i had my manual chair i didn't have a power chair so i couldn't i couldn't propel myself so she was like, okay, I'm going to start pushing you. You just hold the leash. And we just started going. And let me tell you, it was difficult because the dog had to keep up with my pace. I had to worry about not getting the leash caught in the wheel. There's so many factors that you don't have, that you have to worry about when it comes to a dog walking with a, with a wheelchair. But she's already tasking because she's responding to my panic attacks. And I have her on video doing that starting at eight months. And I get panic attacks pretty often and she responds to them. And I don't film that because who wants that on film when you're throwing up or when you're, you know, whatever. But who wants that on film? I don't. But if I need to film it, I will. And then last night I got a message from Logan saying that she received my letter and that she wrote me one back and we were uh, messaging on Facebook last night and this morning and it's very weird because I explained without saying diagnosis because I didn't want it to be, like, I didn't know if she was like, oh, cackle, cackle, talking with her other friends, and I didn't know whether I would, uh, whether my whole entire conversation was being screenshotted and sent to people, so I just kind of told her the gist of everything, and I did apologize for the social media post. Now, I don't, like I said <laughs> like I've said, I don't remember what I said, but apparently it was really bad. And I'm not going to not deny that it was. 
because I was very, very angry that weekend and I was very, very hurt. Um, because for those of you who don't know, Logan used to be my best friend. Um, and then we basically ended in December. Um, because pretty much, pretty, well, I don't know if she would feel the same way, but pretty much because my grandmother went into hospice. Well, I don't know whether we're going to be friends again because she is very, like, boundary-ish with me, and I don't see that as a bad thing. I actually see that as a good thing. She's like, okay, well, you know, I'm not really willing to put myself in that situation again and I said I agree but also you have to remember that I'm not the same person that you knew that I have spent hours and hours and hours in doctor's appointments in therapy and I didn't even mention the medication but like I said I, I would have mentioned it if I needed to but I didn't I didn't feel that it was necessary but like I like I told her I, I'm like I, I've spent hours and hours and hours in um therapy and appointments and weekly things to try to make myself better mentally spiritually emotionally you know what I mean all of that stuff physically whatever you know um and she was like yeah I'm not the same person you knew either and I basically said that I don't want you thinking that this was all my idea because if you didn't want to um write me or talk to me you wouldn't have message me and you wouldn't you wouldn't have she basically we have a mutual friend and she basically told that friend that um I got her letter and that um she can message me and I did message her on Facebook yesterday and like I said I said you wouldn't have told our mutual friend if that I could message you or that you got my letter or you know whatever else um, because I also had sent her, my mom doesn't know this, but I sent her, I got three pieces of merch on the website of the artists that we both support in California. Well, I support her more in my opinion, but, um, the artists in California. And that's, that's who told me that it said, oh, she got your letter and you can message her on Facebook because I didn't have her put who the sh stuff was from, but she wanted, I guess Logan wanted to know. And so she asked her and the lady said, oh, it was from me, meaning Emily, because the lady had just sent her a shirt like two weeks ago and I made a video about this too. So um, I don't know what's gonna happen between Logan and I. We are exchanging letters and we are writing. We are not talking every day uh the last i talked to her was this morning at noon so we're not like texting like you know what i mean but i don't know i don't know what's gonna happen because i only because i only messaged i only wrote the letter because of memories and I don't know what's gonna happen when we hit December because it's not gonna be a year that we haven't spoken because we've spoken now so that's not gonna be weird for me um, but I did tell her what was weird is that I went to um, Myrtle Beach this summer you guys remember all those videos I went to Myrtle Beach and I couldn't contact her and I couldn't, I mean I could, but I, I didn't and I didn't say that we were down there. I, like I said, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't contact you and I couldn't, you know, whatever. Um, but, I don't know, I, I just, I, um, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. My life is very confusing right now. Um, so I don't know what God is going to do with Logan. 
I mean, there is such a thing as free will, so we can do whatever we want. But I feel like, um, I feel like we've always been there for each other when times got rough, except for the last nine months because we had issues. But I feel like it's no secret that we're um, talking right now. I feel like it's not like. I feel like it's not because of us, and I feel like it's because God isn't finished with us yet. And like I told her yesterday, I said, at least for me, I said, seven years of friendship just doesn't go away in nine months. I said, I said, I still see freaking memories every day, whether it's on Facebook, whether it's in my damn Google photos. I had to, um... I didn't delete the photos, but I had an album. Like, you know how you have an album? I had an album on my Google Photos. And every time I would open the album, or open the app, I would see the album. Oh, Emily Logan, um, Myrtle Beach 2018, you know? And so I had to delete it because I couldn't see it. And yes, I still have the album on Facebook. And I'm not sure what she did with all of our pictures. Because we literally have thousands and thousands and thousands on Facebook. Like, every time they were reposted. I know they're all gone from Instagram. But I don't know about Facebook. Um, so I don't know what is happening with Logan and I. Um, and I don't know how much I'm going to update here. Because, again, that's my personal life. But again, this is also my vlog where I um, talk about things. So, like, my life is very confusing right now. And I'm working to build better relationships and healthier relationships. So, maybe this can be, like, an Emily and Logan 2.0. I don't know. Right now, we're nowhere near that. But maybe with a couple more letters, we could be. I don't know, but that's all I have to update you guys on. That's literally it. That's all that's happening in my boring life. <laughs>